Is this is this uh who's on the phone? Uh, excuse me, this is uh, Matt Carrington Shaw. Yes, yes. Who is this? This is uh, Ivan Dyakov. Uh, Ivan, Ivan. I, I called you once before. I don't know. I don't know if you remember, but uh, uh, it was uh, back to, back then about the Ukraine thing. You know, uh, uh, the perfect uh, phone call. Uh, uh, Lev uh, Lev Parson, or uh, I forget his uh, name exactly. Lev. What, what was his name? Do you remember? Oh, I do. Parnas. Lev Parnas. Yeah, oh, I, I I do remember that. Yes, the perfect call between oh, yeah. uh, President Trump and, and the, the president of Ukraine. It was perfect. Everybody complaining, you know, because uh, Trump tried to make a financial uh, a deal with uh, the president of Ukraine. Uh, to, uh, to people in my country, this is, uh, <laughs> this is quite normal, but uh, I guess you have some kind of freak out in America over this, you know. Uh, Ukraine wanted some uh, weapons in return that uh, Trump wanted a uh, criminal investigated who also happened to be running for president of the United States. What's well, a little quid pro quo between friends, right? Well, it uh, it's a deal, you know. But, you know, I'm, it's amazing what happened to me because that left finance, this is a guy who hooks people up. And I, I'm an American now. Oh, you are? Oh, I'm congrat act, congratulations. I'm actually in America. I, I even have an American passport. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. No problem. Because uh, uh, I got contacted by uh, an associate of uh, Lev uh, Parnas. And uh, uh, sometimes I work for people. Yeah, I, by training, I'm an engineer. Yes, yes. I went to Kiev uh, Polytech University. I'm an engineer, but you can't make any money in Ukraine being an engineer. So I do all kinds of things working for people uh, to carry out certain tasks. Uh, uh, you know, some people, you know, might refer to it as uh, um, a bad man. You know, in your country, they call it that. But uh, in my country, they just call it doing business. I have heard that term, uh, bagman, which um, it, it's, it, it sounds, I'm sure, uh, much worse than it actually is in terms of the... Absolutely. Absolutely. What's the word Absolutely. I'm looking for? Uh, criminality. You hit a nail right on the head. Yes, yes. Uh, it's basically, it's, it's like a fee for service. It's uh, very hard to get things done in uh, Ukraine. Well, actually, it's pretty hard to get things done anyway now. Yes, of course. Uh, so... Uh, and I, you know, Lev, he's, he's got a real nose for money. <laughs> he this doesn't. He knows where the money is, and he knows a lot of people. Uh-huh. And, uh, and uh, <laughs> you know, given the kind of stories he was telling, I'm, I'm actually surprised he's still in the United States. Uh, uh, you don't hear too much about him anymore, so I think uh, that case is, uh, you know, kind of disappeared. But uh, <laughs> somebody reached out to me, and all of a sudden... You know, I'm in a limousine heading toward the airport in Kiev, and the next thing I know, uh, I'm landing uh, in uh, Miami. Oh. Uh, yeah, private, private jet, everything, you know? Yes, yes. It was amazing. It was really amazing. And, and, uh, and uh, I got a job, and my job is uh, putting people together. Putting people together. You, you, uh, yeah, well, you know, let me let me explain. Yes. You know about the big care package uh, done by uh, Congress uh, a week or two ago? You remember that? Yes. Oh, absolutely. They care, of course. Because they care so much about America and so much about uh, so much about the uh, the businesses in America that employ so many people. Yes. Yes. Well, of course, you know we're very familiar with this kind of nonsense that, that goes on in Russia and Ukraine, all over Eastern Europe. They pretend to care about the people, but really, it's uh, you know you're moving a lot of money, and the biggest source of money in the world is uh, is the government. And this is why there are so many criminals in Eastern Europe, in Russia, in Ukraine, the, the so-called uh, uh, mafia state. <laughs> right, yeah. right. That's not it's not just mafia. in Italy. <laughs> but, but, you know, the, the, the Russian mafia, the Ukrainian mafia. These are terrifying people, and. And uh, you know they, you know, when the Russian mafia got to New York, uh, the Italian mafia ran away. You know, it, it was too much for them. <laughs> right. 
just, they just picked up and ran away. We, the Russian mafia took over, you know, but I, you know, I'm not too close to these people. They're, they're quite dangerous. Uh, I'm just interested in helping people out, you know, so they come to me sometimes. I know a few people myself. And, and, and um, so there's a lot of money involved in this care bailout thing, you know? Yes, yes. And of course, by the way, for those who don't know, you're referring to the big uh, bailout package uh, that our government uh, is doing, uh, along with the, the Federal Reserve, uh, to uh, to save the oh, yeah. economy. And serious money, serious money. Yes. And But, you know, what, what, what the left people told me is, uh, you know, we can get a piece of this. You know, oh. uh, you know so some American company, they want uh, the, whole, the total package is uh, for the... For the uh, the corporations is like five hundred, but one half a trillion U- U.S. dollars, five hundred billion U.S. dollars. It's uh, it's a lot of money. I can't even fathom that that much money. I, I don't even know how many zeros are in that, and I'm an engineer. You know, I work <laughs> with numbers my whole life. But but let me tell you, <clears throat> this is the way it goes. You know, mm-hmm. there's a lot of competition for this money, and just in the last couple of days, I'm in the air on this private plane. And I'm I'm meeting with people uh, at uh, locations I cannot disclose, but in every case it's an airport, mm. and and uh, and they come to me, and uh, you know I'm dealing with uh, uh, this actually two categories right now. Uh, there's the um, uh, there's the uh, airline companies that are seeking uh, a lot of money, and uh, and there's also the the whole hospitality group, which. As everybody knows, it's on its back. I mean, it's dead. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So they need money. They got fixed cost. You know, these uh, they lease these planes or they buy these planes. You know, they got to keep paying or they, you know, there's a problem. Right. right. And uh, you know, they lease certain gates in the, in the airports, and uh, they need the money. And they got to pay. Uh, they got to pay uh, retirement pensions. It's a lot of costs involved. So they really, they're they're, they're quite desperate. And and so I'm part of a team that negotiates. Uh, you know who gets the money and how much. But it, you know it, it even surprised me. We would never even in Ukraine, as corrupt as it is, we would never put up with this. You know, uh, I was just shocked, shocked to find out that it's mostly a gift. Uh, it's not a loan, it's a gift. In, and then, in what way? What do you mean, uh, Ivan? Well, they give the money to the airlines. They just give them the cash, and they don't have to pay it back. They don't have to like, pay it back. 30%. 30%, they got to pay it back just to make it look good. They probably don't even have to pay it back. But, you know, <laughs> just to make it look good, they're making it seem like 30% is a loan. Yeah. And, and so... You know, this is an invitation for uh, someone like uh, Lev or myself or yeah, even officialdom in uh, the United States uh, to dip our beak into some of that money. You know what I'm saying? I do know what you're saying. It sounds like there's plenty to go around. Uh, no, I said, no, it, it, there's a lot of money, but it's not enough. Oh. You know, it's not the Ukrainian economy. This is, this is the United States of America. It's a 20 Two trillion dollar economy, two point two trillion. That's ten percent of that. It's not enough. Yes, yes. So there's some competition for the money, and and uh, and it was my job uh, to uh, meet with people uh, to uh, expedite uh, uh, their needs uh, to the president of the United States. So you're you're like a, a pimp in a sense. You I. Uh... Uh, introduce people like to each other. Language. I'm, I, I, I refer to myself as a business associate. Oh. And I work for I work for someone very high up in government. Uh, uh, his code name is J. J. Just just the letter J. Yeah. Okay. But uh, you know who he is. Yeah. Use your imagination to figure it out. Oh. So <laughs> you know we talk uh, before the deal gets cooked and and. Uh, it's a cri- encrypted phone, you know, so no, nobody can ever understand, you know. But uh, mm-hmm. um, so I, I, we make the deal, and uh, we're, we're 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 making the deals now with you know American Airlines, United Airlines, Delta Airlines, Southwest, Spirit. There's all you know, they all want the money. Even Spirit, they all want, really? the money. but uh, you know, of course, 
uh, I, I, with the, the way I work it, I, I meet with them all in one place, and and uh, and and we're all in a, this uh, you know very luxurious uh, private jet because uh-huh. they they come to me. Uh-huh. I'm not flying the thing. I'm not a pilot, but yeah. and then I, I explain to them how much money is available for the aircraft industry, and uh, and uh, they can tell me their needs, and uh, I tell them I'm empowered to decide. So it's not like you're you just uh, you don't just divide it up evenly amongst everyone there. I assume. Well, it's 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 actually based on uh, the gratuity that we receive hmm. uh, in return for the money. For example, <laughs> um, you have a lawyer. You know, uh, you you you've been hurt by a doctor. The lawyer requires uh, uh, some kind of a deposit. I forget what they call it. Uh, it's a special legal name. Uh, retainer. Yeah, that's what it is. Yes. They call it retainer, and and uh, so we get a retainer for arranging these uh, big loans. And you know, the lawyer he gets thirty three percent. Oh yes. And mostly even step into court, uh, you know, they don't try the case, they just settle it, you know. <laughs> right. It's settled over the telephone. But, uh, we, we, you know, I'm not front man, so I, I, I do this, uh, you know, on my own. Mm-hmm. And uh, But I represent, uh, you know, the people that uh, decide, and uh, they tell me their needs, and I explain to them the needs of uh, certain people who are empowered to decide, uh, without mentioning any names exactly. Of course, of course. Only first initials. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes at first, you know, we, we're very, very discreet, you know. Oh, you yes. From a, a, an old-fashioned Iron Curtain country, you, you got to understand, you, you speak in a kind of code, you know. I, I, I do understand, yes. Well, Say I mean, things without actually saying them, and, you know, but there's an understanding. And, and the lawyer, we're not asking for 33%, uh, like your attorney in, uh, in, the, in the United States. We just want... Uh, 15, 20%. Well, well that we sounds wanted, fair. We want it in advance. That sounds fair. And so no one's no one's being really, greedy. I'm sorry? That sounds fair. No one's being greedy in this uh No, no, I'm just uh, people helping people. That's how I see it. You know, I'm a <laughs> yes. businessman. Yes. And uh, so you have no idea uh, how cooperative these airlines have been. Really? Because, you know, they I have something they want, and... Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, they want to make me happy. Yes. Uh, so um, this plane, uh, we, we 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 meet in an undisclosed location, but at some point we're going to be picking up uh, uh, the gratuity, uh, uh, the uh, commission, you might say. And 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 how some, how do you? They might call it a kickback. Oh, okay, but how do you do that? I, I mean, is is that? Uh... Is that done uh, off the books, uh, shall we say? Off the books? That's an American expression. Uh, my God, Americans are stupid. Of course it's off the books. <laughs> we don't even want cash. We want it in gold. <laughs> well, I had to ask. We, want, we don't want anything traceable. And, and we're going to uh, cooperate on our end if they cooperate on their end. So... There's got to be some upfront uh, cooperation in the form of a gratuity, in the form of gold. They understand all of this, and uh, and of course, uh, I guess you could say that I'm the pickup guy too in this uh, in this plane, uh, and the only passenger, I might add. And and so uh, it began a couple of days ago. We've uh, established uh, certain contractual rules, and uh, and there have been some uh, gratuities that have uh, come our way. Oh wow! In the, in the in the form of untraceable, uh, valuable, uh, heavy uh, metals. So right. It's working out uh, better than I expected. I'm, I was rather poor in Ukraine. I'd fallen on some hard times. We had the civil war and everything. And, yes. And uh, then uh, out of the blue, that partner's uh, associate he calls me, and then uh, you know suddenly I'm. Uh, I'm even Diakov, uh, American citizen. I got a U.S. passport. I have no idea how it happened. And you're not, uh, you're not concerned, Ivan, about your own, uh, you know, you know, because uh, Lev Parnas is in, uh, well, you know, jail. Uh, oh no, 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 he's not. He's not in jail anymore. Oh, is he out? Uh, is... Oh yeah, he's he's, he's been uh, given. Uh, I think he's got one of those uh, the thing on his leg. I, I don't know what you call. Oh, an yeah, ankle brace. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, he's 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 out. Uh, you know, he's he's uh, 
that uh, makes things happen. You know, this is a guy that uh, can, he moves uh, very fast on his feet, even with that uh, transmitter on his leg. Mm. Yeah. So uh, next week is, uh, is exciting. We are be meet, meeting with uh, the uh, the hotel chains. Uh, Going to get them all together, have the meeting, maybe six, seven of them in uh, in the plane. Then I meet with them individually to see what they're offering. You, you know what I'm saying. So is it a... It's a lot of money. It's $500 billion. So it's a similar uh, process with the, the hotel chains. It's a similar well, process no, I, as with the airlines. Lev looked at the legislation. He said, I, we, even in Ukraine, we would never try something like this. Wow. He said, it, it's an invitation to waste, fraud, abuse, corruption, kickbacks, and bribery. He said, even in Ukraine, we're more careful than this. He <laughs> says, oh, and, and he said, you know, he said, you know, he, Ivan, nobody's even complaining. Right. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> so, so we just, uh, you know, we see an opportunity, we take it, and, and everybody's going to be happy. Um, everybody's happy. It sounds like it. I mean, uh, yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, you know, next week, uh, Marriott, uh, Hilton, Best Western, Hyatt, a couple others, you know. Couple others I'll be meeting with, and uh, of course, uh, you know, no, nobody's staying in hotels right now. They're kind of desperate. Uh, the industry could collapse if uh, the United States uh, government, uh, um, uh, represented by uh, Ivan Tyakov, uh, comes in, swoops in, and makes a you know makes a, you know, a good offer and uh, uh, coordinates the rescue mission. Right. Uh, yeah. It's a rescue mission, of course, a mission yeah. of mercy. <laughs> Rescuing these hotel chains, you know, for, for a long time Ukraine was part of the uh, the Soviet you know, Union, yes. Union of Socialist Republics. Uh, America criticized uh, Russia, Ukraine, uh, uh, Latvia because it's socialist, not capitalist. They don't like it, but uh, I can tell you that uh, America loves socialism now, especially the Republican Party. <laughs> Who would have thought? Who would have thought, uh, Ivan? Yeah, you know, I, it's uh, it's so interesting. You know, you would think that they would like give give the uh, the airlines a loan. It would be a loan, you know, right. maybe low interest. You know, some special deal. You know, they pay it back a long time. I mean, until they get back on their feet, whatever. And, but no, it's a gift. Seventy percent of it's a gift. And guess what? I'm the guy that decides. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the decider. I'm just astonished. It fell into my lap, Mac. I, I, I can't explain it. You know, every now and then, you get lucky in life. Yes. And uh, and people trust me. And, uh, well, I, uh, I, I work for somebody very high up in the administration, very trusted person in the administration. And, uh, of course, I, I get to keep some of what I recover as a commission. Yes. And I, I got between you and me... Um, it's not a small commission. Well, good. Well, you yeah. work hard for but, that. Uh, you know, I'm getting it. I'm getting a piece. I'm lucky. You know, I'm lucky. And uh, I, I missed it. You know, I got this passport now. I might stay in the United States. I'll tell, I'll tell you, U.S. passports are a lot better than Ukrainian passport. <laughs> well, you did say you're an American citizen now, if I, if I understood you correctly. Well, that's what the passport says. You know, but of course, you know, be, between you and me, I am not. <laughs> no, oh. No, I'm, oh. I, Oh. I'm I'm from Ukraine, you know. I've, I've actually never even been in America. Uh, I'm lucky for me, the two pilots know where we're going because I got no idea. I don't even know what state I'm in. Right. I haven't been out of Ukraine in ten years. Oh, okay. In the last, it's out of Ukraine. I was in Russia. Right. That's it. You know, I, I'm not a well-traveled guy, but uh, a little bit of English and met a few people. Uh, did some business deals in Ukraine, helped the right people, and suddenly, boom, hey, I'm on top of this. I'm the guy. By the way, uh, si since you're uh, you're so closely associated with uh, our friend uh, Lev Parnas, um, are you also at all familiar? Have you ever come into uh, contact with a, a gentleman by the name of Rudolf Giuliani? Is, is that name uh, someone you... Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I don't know if you can confirm or deny that you know him, but I'm just curious if you might have run across him. I, 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 I've heard the name. I, yeah. I've never done any business with him, no. Yeah. This is, and I've only talked to, to Lev once, and it was for like 30 seconds. 
people, you know, in this business, you work with representatives. You know, nobody wants their fingers touching this, you know. Right. They all use, uh, this is this a CIA, a KGB expression, uh, cutouts, you know. They, they, they cut the people out, uh, they become... Uh, they, there's a surrogate. Uh, I, I don't know the expression, but y you know what I'm saying. Uh, you, you represent other people more important than yourself. Right, right. Uh, now, to some people, you know, I'm, I'm sure if America found out about this, they'd be freak out, right? They'd be freak out completely, right? <laughs> uh, no, uh, uh, I think they'd be uh, largely oblivious, but uh, yeah. But even in Ukraine, they're marching in the streets over a deal like this, I can tell you. You know, we, we threw the last government out. The guy uh, left in the middle of the night. He was worried that uh, we were going to burn down his house, and uh, he, he left, you know. No, I, I actually think people would freak out. I mean, you... you if I would, well, you know, I can do the math for you. You want me to do the math? I'm not good at math, uh, Yvonne, so please, uh, yeah, by all means. What's that 20% commission on 500 billion? Uh, that it's would... a big number, Matt. It's 100 billion. Wow, yes, that is a big number. Yeah, and I'm going to get a piece of that. You know, I hope it's going to be at least 1 billion. And I think I can live very comfortably on that uh, in Palm Beach next to Mar-a-Lago, you know, if you know what I'm saying. Well, I think you're going to have to figure out if that uh, passport's going to allow you to stay in uh, Palm Beach or not. Uh, absolutely. This passport's permanent. Okay. I got citizenship papers. I got everything. <laughs> I, got, I got a birth certificate. Wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm all set. And um, I've also been offered a free membership to Mar-a-Lago. Really? In return, my services uh, to the administration, helping them um, uh, identify the companies most worthy of this bailout. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I just want to share the information with you to let you know uh, that um, even Diakov is alive and well. Well, that's uh, that's a big relief. Uh, I'm now American citizen. Maybe sometime I'll come to your studio and we'll we'll do a show together and I'll explain how business works. Uh, 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 Ukraine style, but you, you gotta understand, uh, Ukraine. These are all the smart people mm -hmm. in Ukraine. We ran the Russia. You know, we built the rockets, we built the tanks, we built everything. The Russians. There's a bunch of peasants without any teeth. Well, you know, they're in <laughs> Mongolia. They're, you know, God knows where they came from, but uh, you know, they call they call Ukraine. Little Russia. We controlled Russia for many, many years. Well, how do you, you know, feel? You, you don't know the history of, of Ukraine. I mean, you talk to Americans, they say, oh, they say the Ukraine. It's not the Ukraine. It's Ukraine. They can't even, they, can't, they don't even get it. It's not like, it's not like the America. It's America. I have noticed uh, that. Yeah. Anyway, so, you know, things are going well. They're going well. They're going to go very well for United Airlines. I can assure you of that. <laughs> it sounds uh, like it. They uh, uh, insulted me with an offer, uh, which uh, uh, they withdrew and made a better offer. So they're, they're definitely in. And Delta, I got a meeting out of the palm of my hand. So is this? Uh, are Are you doing all of this yourself, uh, Yvonne? Because you mentioned something about being a part uh, of I, a I, team. I, yeah, well, I, 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 I'm part of a team, but I'm, I, I'm the guy. You're the guy. You, you understand? No, I'm the guy. You're the guy. And not only do I get the pre-gratuity, I collect the main gratuity, too, in this private plane, <laughs> which uh, has got uh, two engines, and uh, it can lift quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of weight. Uh -huh. It's a serious jet. Uh, I've never been in one of these things before, but uh, it's got everything, you know. We got Beluga Caviar. In the refrigerator, I can take as much as I want. <laughs> wow, that's amazing! Good for you. Very nice crackers, too. Very nice crackers. And uh, and there's a, a, a cabin attendant. She does anything I want. Uh, she gives me anything I want. And none of those little tiny uh, little tiny bottles, you know, of uh, of uh, drinks you you pay five dollars for on your commercial aircraft. No, we're we're talking serious vodka here, you know. Right, right. And you you get the whole bottle, you know. So, 
I'm on my trip. I know how to handle alcohol. You know, I, I, there's no problem there. And uh, of course, I offer some of this uh, Ukrainian uh, vodka. Uh, sometimes uh, we uh, have uh, Russian vodka, and and uh, we all have a few drinks, and uh, you know, it loosens it up a little bit, and uh, and then we can uh, we can talk a turkey. Right. It lets you kind of uh, uh, grease the wheels a little bit. Uh... Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to collect the whole hundred billion, but I guarantee you we're going to get at least 50. Yeah. That'd be 10 percent. That'd be 10 percent. But, it's, you know, with the airlines, it's looking like we're going to get almost a full 20 percent pop, you know, but uh, the hotels, I don't know. I don't know. You got to meet with them personally. Nothing's on the phone. There's no emails. There's none of that stuff. You know, <laughs> you can't. There's no. You know, nothing that, that can be traced. And uh, this is why we uh, insist that the gratuity be made uh, in uh, not in the currency, but uh, not of course not by check. But we require the gold bullion or the gold coins. That's in the it. Safe. That's interesting, Ivan. I don't know if you're aware of this, but uh, here in America, we have a lot of uh, conservative talk show hosts. Uh, like uh, Glenn Beck and Michael Savage and so forth, who are very, very interested in gold. They also like gold very much. Well, I, you know, I, you know, I've been in America only. I've been in America only only two weeks now. Yeah. But I noticed gold is going up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know anything about why, you know, but uh, uh, for some reason, people trust gold. Uh, you can't spend it. I. But you can you can trade it for money. It's huh. not money. Used to be money, but not money anymore. I mean, you can't go in to uh, a barber shop and give somebody gold for a haircut. That's true. I mean, they might take it, but normally they they want currency. Right, right. Well, right now you can't even get a haircut. I can get a haircut. Well, I you can. can. I can. I get a haircut every two days. Because I got to look good when I meet with these executives. I'm, I'm meeting with CFOs, CEOs, uh, board directors. I'm meeting with a lot of people. Uh, I, I meet with uh, the CEOs all together. You have no idea how nice these people are to me. Oh, well, I can imagine. I've never been treated this well in my life. But I put out the beluga caviar. I put out the 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 the, 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 the Ukrainian vodka and also the Russian vodka, and we, we take shots. You know, it's good. A little caviar and a cracker and some vodka. Very nice people, and very rich. They're very rich people. So, but they're a little desperate now, so they need some help, and uh, and I'm here to help them. You know. Well, God and bless in the process, you. Process. I'm, I'm going to help myself. I, you know, I admit to it. But oh, somebody's sure. got to do this work. Right. You're providing a service. You're introducing yeah. people. And you know. But, they may call it free money. It's not free, you know. Mm-hmm. This is tax money from the United States. I can't believe the taxpayers of the United States have allowed themselves to be taken advantage of like this, but that, that's not my problem, you know. The money is there. Uh, the system is in place. Uh, even I was surprised. 70% gift, 30% loan at very low, low interest. I don't know what the interest rate is. I think it's under 2%. Wow, that you know, that is a great interest rate. Uh, I, I, oh yeah, I can tell you. You're not you, uh, going to get that interest rate if you buy uh, a trailer. You're not. You're <laughs> not going to get that rate. I can tell you what's but happened. Tonight, though. Realize they're going to get that rate. You know what's happened, Yvonne, Is is uh, uh, Americans? You know we're very desperate right now uh, as the economy is imploding. Uh, so that's why uh, that's why this is able to happen, and Americans aren't even upset. We just want the economy to not implode, unlike... Well, see, you know, that's the excuse. That's right. the excuse, but it's really a gigantic theft uh, from the biggest pool of money in the world. Uh, it's a gigantic theft, and, I, you know, it's almost like America is asleep. Mm-hmm. You know, I've, I've had a chance to read the New York Times, the Washington Post, uh, uh, the Wall Street Journal, and nobody's complaining about this. Right. This five hundred billion dollars. Now, President Trump he fired the Inspector General. Yes, he's supposed to oversee this to make everything uh, uh, on the up and up. But he, that guy's gone. You I know? noticed that. Uh, very bold, very very strong, Donald Trump. Very strong, very forceful, bold. That's what I say. Yes. This guy, he's got he's got the the best words. 
He's got the he's got the he's got all the money. He's got control. Nancy Pelosi, I don't know what she was thinking of. And uh, they just all passed it, you know. And, and you know, I mean usually, you know, in the Ukrainian uh, democracy, they argue for months over something like this. Really? Oh. Oh yeah, there's big fights. Uh, newspapers cover it. Who's going to get the money? We got to. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, the criminals in government. Of course, they they figure out a way to evade all of that. But it was it was so interesting. Uh, this thing it gets passed. I see it with my own eyes on television. And you know, one hundred percent said yes in the U.S. Senate. Never seen anything like it. Democrats, Republicans, they don't care. Right. Bernie Sanders, he's a socialist. Of course, he's all for it. That's what it is, <laughs> socialism. I haven't heard from Bernie. He didn't. He, he didn't tell me he wanted a piece of this. You know, probably does though. Uh, but the U.S. Senate, I don't. I'm sure they're going to get something for this because I think this is the end of a lot of their political career. They're going to. America's going to figure this out in about two months. After it comes out, how much uh, I'm doling out to Delta Airlines, to American Airlines, United Airlines, to Southwest Airlines. Uh, when these numbers become public, then the, rec the recriminations will start. <laughs> and uh, I think a lot of people <coughs> they won't uh, get reelected. That's my that's my my theory. But uh, I don't care about that. You know. Right. Right. You have. Uh elected who doesn't get elected in uh, Ukraine, and uh, I don't really care who gets elected here either, you know, it doesn't matter. You know, politicians, Matt, they, they come and they go, right? Right, right. Uh, you don't think this uh, President Zelensky, you don't think he's uh, here to stay? Uh, he'll, be, he'll be going. Yeah, they come and go, but money, money is forever. Well, I would, well, gold is forever. That's what I'm told by those advertisements yeah. I see. Gold is forever. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, I'm, I, I don't know what my cut is going to be. I don't know if it's going to be gold or it's going to be U.S. dollars, Swiss uh, francs, uh, euros. I don't even know what I want, but uh, maybe I get a little bit of everything, you know, Ooh. just to be on the safe side. Yes. Yeah. Well, you have to diversify. So anyway, things are going, things are going really well. Um, uh, the Trump administration has got that, they, they got good control of this, just like they got control of uh, the virus, <laughs> now, boy, didn't that come at a perfect time, right? And two months ago, we had the perfect phone call. Now we got the perfect virus, and uh, and I got the perfect job. Oh, it's an interesting. Uh, it's funny how yeah, things just kind of work out. Or perfect. Yes. It's funny and how that works out. Perfect phone call that Donald Trump had. It was a. It was a perfect call. Nothing wrong. You know, I I I, I didn't hear the call. Right. But I'm sure it was pretty good because we know that the president of the United States, he's, he's strong, he's very strong, he's very powerful, yes. and, uh, and and he, he's got the best words. He speaks very well. <laughs> so sure everyone does. can understand, even even the stupidest person in America will understand uh, President Trump. <laughs> that literally is true. Yes, uh, Yvonne, you're correct about that. By the way, if you're yeah. interested, uh, if you are interested in the call... Uh, there's no transcript available, but there is a summary of a transcript uh, available online that you can read. Uh, I don't care. You know, that, yeah. that's yesterday. Yeah. Matt. That's what we talked before. I was trying to explain to you why this is, you know, this is just nonsense. Uh, and, of course, it came to nothing, right? Uh, you know, there's uh, some, uh, some trial in the Senate. It didn't go anywhere, you know, and it's just. It's just political theater, you know. We, we go through this every day in my country, you know. But uh, I, I thought, it, you know, I've been a little surprised about how America runs, you know. Really? Normally, you know, they don't hand over half a trillion dollars to the executive branch of uh, the government <laughs> to distribute the way they want. You know, normally that doesn't happen. You know, even in my country, it doesn't happen. <laughs> the theft goes on a little more surreptitiously. I uh, kind of like what I'm doing here. You know, there's people involved, and there's, right. Uh, right. there's fees. Yeah, and uh, and uh, so if anything goes wrong, of course, uh, you know, I'm sure my passport's going to be revoked, and I'll be back in Kiev again. But 
I, I got a, I got some hope for this. I, I think everybody's going to be very happy with this. And, and you know, the average American here, he don't care. He's getting twelve hundred dollars. He's good. <laughs> exactly. He's good. Exactly. You don't sound worried, yeah. uh, He's even. Getting twelve hundred. Boeing's getting twelve billion. Yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah, maybe that's, you know, close. That's pretty close. You know, that's fine. Yeah, everybody's getting paid. You know, they're not yeah. getting paid exactly the same amount. But the, the point is, uh, <clears throat> Ivan uh, Darkov, he's getting taken care of in this. As I'm helping distribute this money, helping out the Trump administration and Jay, who I have very close contact with, at least six phone calls a day. Wow. Encrypted. Encrypted, Encrypted yes. What, what do you use the... Uh... What is it called? WhatsApp? I think that. Uh, I, think that's I don't what know what is. it is. No, it's even a strange phone. I, oh, I, I yeah. never used anything like this. You know, it's not a regular cell phone. It's oh. uh, it's something else. It's what you call a uh, burner uh, phone in the, in the in the United States. I think it sounds like. Yeah. So I'm, the, the first stage is the negotiation. The second stage is uh, a pick up pick up uh, uh, the gratuity. Uh huh. Uh, and and then there's a follow up gratuity when they when they finally get the money. Yes, yes. And that's the big payoff. And uh, you know, nobody, you know, that's the way it works. That's the way it works everywhere. It's the way it works all over the world. You know, you want to put in an incinerator in Belarus. I, I got news for you. The mayor of that town gets ten percent of whatever that incinerator costs. That's the way it works. Wow. That's the way it works everywhere. That's why everybody wants to be a politician. That's right. It's a good. Uh, it's good work if you can get it. Well, you know, it's, uh, it's not easy to get to these top places. Uh, you know, Donald Trump made it look easy. He made it look easy. Uh, you got to give him credit for getting elected. I mean, you know, this guy. Uh, this guy wasn't very popular in New York City. Well, like you said, you know, he uh, he speaks in a way that, uh, you know, even uh, the stupidest person can understand. So, Yeah, it surprises me sometimes. But, mm. uh, you know, sometimes uh, uh, a surprise can be a good thing. And in my case, it's going to be a good thing. It's going to be good for uh, it's going to be good for uh, Hilton worldwide. I can tell you that it's uh -huh. going to be very good for Delta. Uh -huh. And it's going to it's going to be very good for Jay. And it's going to be very good for Ivan Dyakov. Yes, yes, and it's it, it's okay, ultimately uh, it's ultimately good for the American people, right, Ivan? I mean, we're getting twelve hundred bucks. People helping people, you know. Yes. These, these airlines they employ a lot of people. Right. So we exactly. Gotta, we got to keep those people employed. We got to keep giving them giving them their paycheck, whether they work or not. Mm -hmm. You know, there are people that say, you know, let the airlines go bankrupt. You know, what difference does it make? They can operate in bankruptcy. They can repudiate their pension obligations, their debt. But uh, this is better. They keep their pensions, uh, no debt repudiation. The banks stay solvent. Everybody happy. You know right. what I'm saying? Absolutely. Okay, let's. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta. I got a very early morning tomorrow. I gotta get in the plane at eight o'clock. And then I got to meet with uh, got to meet with some CEOs. Well, you, you've got a big so day. I'll, call back. I'll, let you, I'll let you know how it all works out. Okay. All right, Yvonne, and uh, be safe. Oh yeah, you can bet I'm safe. I got I got a Glock on me at all times. <laughs> it's fully loaded. <laughs> Nobody's going to take uh, Yvonne down. Oh good. good okay, good. listen now. You 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 have a you have a, a, a good day, and uh, and you protect yourself. You get yourself a good mask for the virus. You know. Oh yes, yes. Uh, you don't want to catch that. It, it's, uh, uh, you know, I, I protect myself, you know. They, I, I, I have protective gear, you know. Sometimes I'm in a hazmat suit, you know, just to, get, just to make sure I'm okay. But listen, I got to run. I got to run. It's good talking to you, and uh, maybe we talk again. All right. Thank you, Yvonne. Take care. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.